Hey there, I'm Matt Tommy, and over the last 10 years, I've helped thousands of Christian artists all over the world start thriving spiritually, artistically, and in the marketplace, while at the same time building my own super successful art business. If you're ready to bust through the roadblocks that have held you back for years, create the work you love, and really live the life you know God created you to live in His kingdom, then you're in the right place, my friend. Now, with over a half a million downloads, you're listening to the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast. Well, hey there, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast. Super excited that you are with me. Today is September. I love September. One of my favorite months is my birthday month, September 24th. Hello. I expect emails, cards, Instagrams, all that kind of thing, but that's a whole nother issue. Anyway, um, <laughs> really glad that you're here with me. I've got a super wonderful uh, interview with a friend of mine today, Laura Brady. Laura is one of the few people I've ever had back on the podcast. I actually interviewed Laura back on episode number 86, kind of her backstory, um, that sort of thing. I brought her back because she's really had such incredible transformation uh, inside the Created to Thrive Artist Mentoring Program, really on a spiritual level. And we talked today about how her spiritual breakthrough really has been the door opener or the breakthrough point, if you will, for everything that's starting to happen, not only in her artistic process, but also her business. So we dive deep into that um, today, and you're, you're going to really love uh, that episode. So after you listen to this, if you want to go back and listen to the full version of her story, you can do that um, back on episode 86. Now, listen, before we get rolling today, uh, a couple of things. I, of course, want to give a, a shout out to one of my podcast listeners. This one is actually from DK, and it says, Dear Matt, I took your Creative to Thrive course and really enjoyed it. Then I learned about the podcast. I binge listened to it as I painted. I love that. And I have to say, I think God has you right where you're supposed to be. I was encouraged and also educated all while enjoying your words of wisdom. You got a great sense of humor to boot. I'm planning on signing up for your mentoring program in September. Thanks for doing the podcast. Sincerely, DK. Well, DK, thanks so much for listening, for being a part of the experience course back in back in the spring. Uh, excited that you're a part of, of all that we're doing. And that's actually a great lead in because you talked about the, the mentoring program coming up. So many people are asking, Matt, when do the doors open again? So they're opening this month. Finally, we do it. We do it twice a year in January and in September. And uh, so to do that, we, we kind of always do this thing called the Artist Rise Up Masterclass. All right. It's a special teaching series that I'm doing. It starts on September the 22nd, and it's really focused on helping you get a super clear vision of what it means to be a thriving artist in God's kingdom. All right. We're going to talk about how to overcome the five most common roadblocks that all Christian artists face, how to accelerate and sustain the breakthrough that you're looking for in your life so that you can start seeing immediate results in your spiritual life, your art life, your business life. All right. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to connect with thousands of other artists from around the world who are all lovers of Jesus, great artists in just about every creative medium. Uh, people ask, is this for writers? Is this for musicians? Is this for visual art? It's for anyone who's a kingdom creative. We would love, love, love for you to be there. You know, many of you know, back in 2009, God called me to raise up an army of artists uh, to reveal his glory in the earth. And since then, Literally thousands of artists have responded to that through books and conferences and the mentoring program and that sort of thing, reason. You know, in, in fact, maybe the reason that you're listening to the podcast is because you're wanting to be a part of what God is doing in this generation and be a part of raising up that army of artists. And, and honestly, guys, that's the, the ultimate foundational purpose behind everything I do to help you connect with God understand your calling as a kingdom artist and get healed and whole from the things that have held you back for so long so that you can then get equipped and empowered to really thrive in everything that God's got for you. So listen, that's what this Artist Rise Up series is all about. It's absolutely free, but registration is required so that we can send you uh, the downloadable workbook as well as get you in uh, the private Facebook group for that. And so again, just to register, all you got to do is go down to the link that's here in the show notes. You can put your email in um, when you go to that page and uh, you'll get registered for free, get access to those immediate resources, 
get dropped into the Facebook group, and uh, we'll be getting started on uh, Tuesday, September the 22nd. All right. Well, listen, this is going to be a great interview. You're going to love Laura's story and just uh, have your heart open and your mind open to be aware of the breakthrough that God wants to bring in your life, in your heart, so that that can then continue to manifest in your art and in your business and in your life. All right. I love you, my friend. Uh, Here's my interview with my friend, Laura Brady. Well, hey there, my friend. I'm so glad that you're with me on the podcast today. I've got a special friend of mine, Laura Brady, that's here and uh, one of the very few people that I've ever invited back on the podcast. So, Laura, I'm so glad that you're here today. Welcome. Hi, Matt. Thanks again for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was just looking before we started today. And for those who want to hear your entire story and that sort of thing, episode 86 back in September of, of 2019 was uh, was when it was. And so that's a great episode for, for people to dig into. But for those who might not know you and I know your work and that sort of thing, why don't you give everybody just a, a thumbnail sketch of who you are and what you do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm Laura Brady. And like you said, and I'm an acrylic artist. And um, my favorite subject is nature to capture. I love to co-create with the master artisan. Um, So it's like floral art and everything. So that's me. (laughs) I think that's why I love your work so much because we're like kindred spirits. I'm a, as many people know that listen to the podcast, I not only make my baskets and woven sculpture, but I'm also like an uber gardener. So I think I wanted to be a, a florist in my other life. And you paint, <laughs> you paint beautiful floral things. So I'm just like, I, every time you paint a peony or something, I'm like, would you please stop it? Because I want to buy everything that you, that you make. But it's really awesome. Well, listen, so Laura, this, this month, uh, you know, we open up the, the mentoring program a couple of times a year and, uh, we're just giving people these incredible stories of transformation for people. And your story is, uh, I think, really worth repeating because you're not only a great artist, you are also a great marketer. You had a marketing background, that sort of thing, before you came into the mentoring program. And yet the Lord kind of snuck up on you in the program and, and kind of did this really spiritual awakening. So talk to everybody a little bit about before you came into the mentoring program, what was that like? And what did the Lord do in your heart uh, while you were a member of, of Created to Thrive? Yeah, well, like you said, I was in marketing um, for probably like 15 years. Um, but it's so neat. It just shows like the tender heart of Jesus because he knew uh, how much I love to illustrate. Mm. And um, so he took me back to my roots. Um, and so I was illustrating, but using my graphic marketing, like I was doing scripture art and everything with it. And then all of a sudden he told me to paint. I'm like, what? Paint? (laughs) This is like totally new. I, I was, did not consider myself a wet media artist at all. Um, and so before I saw you online, actually, um, I was really like at a standstill and I'm like, okay, what's the next step? And, um, I, you know, I can market myself. I know how to do it. I've been doing this for all these people, but I was just like, so stuck. And I was like, you know, I don't know the fine art arena. Like I, I mean, I can, like I said, I can try to market myself, but I just didn't feel like I was going forward, you know? So what do you think? You know, I can totally relate to that because my background pre all of this that I'm doing now was I owned a marketing company in Atlanta. I mean, so that's what I was. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, hello. So we were doing graphic design, web design, collateral development, messaging, you know, some branding work, all that sort of thing for small to medium sized businesses. I had grown a team. We were, quite successful. Then of course the economy tanked and everybody went, you know, crazy. Oh. But um, when it came to my own art and that sort of thing, I kind of felt that, that same, like, gosh, I can do this for everybody else, but why is this not connecting for me? And it wasn't until I started getting my heart right, right with the Lord and understanding how the kingdom works that really all of what I had known actually seemed like it, had a pathway to, to flow on, yeah, if that makes sense. sense. I mean, does that make, does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say before, um, that breakthrough, um, before I was in the group and then when I joined the group, like a lot of the spiritual teaching, it was just so freeing for me because I kind of saw myself before I was illustrating with my color pencils, but I was putting scripture art with it. There's nothing wrong with that, right? but I felt like my voice wasn't coming out. And I think Jesus was really 
saying, it's okay, baby girl. <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah. I want you to be a part of it with me, you know? And it was just like, come, like, just really press into who I am as an artist with him together and like really invite him to the, to the canvas, you know? And, yeah. um, and learning that to like break off the lies that I had to put scripture with it, you know? Or I had like, even before I had to market only Christian businesses, you know? Yeah, like that's the way Christians do art. Right, you gotta put, right, yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. right. And, and, um, and so it was just like, just understanding who, it was, it was very like, I had an identity comp or, you know, complex. Like I didn't know who I was, you know yeah. what I mean? And so when I really started pressing into who I am as an artist with him, um, lies came off and I could see that I, my art speaks because the Holy Spirit speaks through it and I'm yeah. a conduit for the Holy Spirit to move. So it just yeah. was amazing breakthrough. And it was just really neat because I think he actually took me from the ground up, um, <laughs> like really like going back to roots and like digging, yeah. digging new territory kind of thing. And it was, it, it was neat because he actually gave me a process in my art um, as I was pressing into who I am in him, like actually starting at the ground up. And I have like three stages of development in my acrylic art. And um, that is what really kind of brings it to life. And wow. it was all because he showed me the spiritual breakthrough in the same way. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know. Yeah, absolutely. I, I want to say something, but now I would love to hear if you're willing to share that process. I'd love to hear, share that with everybody. But before we do that, um, the whole, you know, one of the things I just was thinking about this as you were, as you were talking, I think people that who are artists like over here in this box, and then they're Christians over here in this box. Mm -hmm. And there can be this sort of religiosity, um, religious overlay on their work where they right. feel like unless it is overtly Christian themed, includes mm -hmm. scripture, um, unless I, I'm saying I'm a Christian artist, I'm a prophetic artist, I'm a this, right, I'm a right. that, that somehow that they're not being true to themselves. And so they got to like lay it out there and let everybody know, Hey, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. And I remember when people started asking me that early on, like, Matt, do you make, do you make Christian baskets? And I'm like, what are you even talking about? Like, <laughs> <I'm> not, on <laughs> it's not even a thing. Like, what do you like? I don't even know baskets could get saved. I mean, what, what are you even talking about? But it's like, I love what you're, what you found. And I found this as well. And so many are finding this, that, that, when we are fully and authentically who God has created us to be, then we can let all that false humility and false responsibility go and really be who God's called us to be and let the work speak for itself without Amen. trying to front load it with all this Christianese or whatever. Right, right. I almost think it's a lot of fear of man too. Mm, come because on. like, you know, if I don't pose myself as this way, then they're going to think I'm not really a Christian. Yeah. You know, but really it's just like breaking off those lies and just being free and knowing that your heart is right with God, you know, and you're just in union with him when you're working and like you feel it, you know, and you're yeah, just yeah. allowing the Holy Spirit to move. I think we don't realize, sometimes we don't realize the power of the Holy Spirit and how much he moves in the hearts without us actually saying something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah I don't have to lead him. He can lead me. Hello. So that the process that the Lord led you and then how did that it how did that evolve and how does that work itself out in your work now again and how is that different than how you were making previously yeah it's really neat because like I said he was like peeling off lies and he was really taking me back to the ground you know and so we could build more something new and so he showed me um with the acrylic paint that it took the groundwork was the first initial layer that I had to release on the paint on the canvas. Mm -hmm. And it's really emotional, big, like big brushes, really quick brushes, but brush strokes and lots of color. And I feel like I actually, you know, in union with him, I like release the emotion of what the piece is going to be. And I sometimes I don't even know what it's going to be. So it's mm -hmm. really neat. And um, practical side of it, it actually creates a really awesome base for the acrylics. Um, and, and then my second layer is, I call it color blocking. 
talking. Yeah. And I go in really quick again, smaller, not really big paintbrush, but like mid-sized paintbrush. And I just block in the layout of my piece, like, you know, my florals, which I'm working a lot with now, my intense florals. And um, I lay it out and I work on composition. Um, so it was like just really the the second, like, like the, almost like building it, like we had the ground and then we're planning, putting the foundation in and that's the color blocking. And then I go in and I work on the fine detail and um, really, you know, build it. It's almost like, it's not like I even think about drawing out first. I'm actually just like honing in on each little petal and I'm like yeah. taking a flower petal journey with Jesus. It's so crazy. It's so yeah. wild. And I'm actually working in the detail work with smaller brushes, of course, but it's like, I'm like actually feeling like I'm building the pedal and I'm in the canvas with it. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I yeah. love that because I think for me, it's almost like I see that with my basketry as well. I kind of start big and then work into the, yeah. the minute details as well. But I think one of the things that stops so many artists is that they start with the detail in mind. Right. And it's like the detail for me, at least, it, that's the last thing to come. That's right. like the icing on the cake, right? Yeah, I mean, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I mean, and so I think so many people when they're starting out, it's like they start, I think because they are informed by perfectionism, it's gotta look like this, I gotta right. do it right. What if I mess it up? Oh. And it's like, for so many of us, it's just like, just slap it on, just start, <laughs> just, just you start. know. <laughs> For me, it's like, just start cutting branches. Just put okay. something on the wall and, and let it develop because there's that, I've just been reading this fabulous book that's called um, The Sound of Life's Unspeakable Beauty by this guy, um, Martin <laughs> Schleska. It's, you should get it. It's fabulous. Yeah. Everybody should get it. But um, <laughs> I'm actually having the translator of that book on the podcast come up. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's fabulous. But anyway, um, he talks about this balance, this what he calls harmonious opposites, this tension that we have to hold between both allowing and forming in our art. And I think so many people that if you've not, if you've not allowed room for the allowing right. for things to just happen, you stay over here in the forming and you overmix, you overmake, you over control right. and you Think make a much. mess. Yeah. Yeah. You overthink it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So yeah. it sounds like you're really coming into a good place with that. I mean, you're allowing both of those things to, to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say too, it's kind of funny, like uh, spiritually, like just the way we live our lives, don't we kind of hone in on the details and yeah. it really messes us up. And God's like, no, just sit back, like, let me do it. Like, look at the big picture here. Yeah. And you yeah. can see me working, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I always tell people that with vision boards too and that kind of thing when they come, like come into the mentoring program. I'm like, the vision board is the what? It's the big picture. It's the yeah. thing that gives you the, oh, yes, you know, yeah. the inspiration, yeah. but the how, we don't ever know the how. Yeah. You know, yeah. our responsibility is to show up. And I think yes. Yes. that's what I hear you saying, that this freedom that's come spiritually mm -hmm. now goes into your artistic process. And I also know maybe this is a good transition. I know that's happening in your business as well, because you're stepping out in new ways and able to, you know, go with some things like that. How is this the spiritual stuff that God's done in your heart? How is that manifesting itself in the way you're selling, interacting with people, marketing your work and all that? Yeah, I think it's really neat because I'm believing and stepping into it, like walking right now <laughs> uh, in the identity that he gave me and knowing who I am and like mm. going out, like I can talk to that art gallery that I was too nervous to talk to before, you know, because yeah. I'm like, I know I have that confidence. Like I don't see myself as a grasshopper, <laughs> like in numbers, yeah. was it 333? Uh, I see myself yeah. who I am. Um, who Jesus created me to be. And, you know, if someone is, doesn't like it, then they don't like it. I don't have yeah. to please them. I can just keep painting what he tells me to paint and I yeah. just move to the next. <laughs> but yeah. it's really like been amazing though, because I've been accepted in like numerous fine art shows, which I'm Unfortunately, and there were really high level ones that I was so excited for, but unfortunately have been canceled this year. Um, so I was just like, you know, because of COVID and I'm like, okay, Lord, so what do we do next? <laughs> you know, I yeah, need some yeah. Holy Spirit uh, creative ideas. Let's brainstorm. Um, so I started doing some online um, shows, um, um, exhibits and everything. So that's been fun. It's been really connecting with other people and reaching out and possibly doing some workshops. Yeah, and I, if, if I could dig into this a little bit, because I think this is just a, I, I've had the same, you know, revelation in my own journey and that sort of thing. So 
Can I set this up a little bit? You guys, you joined together with what, four other artists and y'all did an online show yeah, yeah, yeah. and that sort of thing. And all this energy and that sort of thing around it, but you found out that those people were who? Who, who was it that was excited about the show? Oh yeah, other artists. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a learning moment at this place. Yeah. Kind of like, okay, what yeah. do we do yeah. with this? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, see. so what, what are you finding out though? And how are you thinking about pivoting potentially? Yeah, I know. It's like a point and pivot. It's like, yeah. don't get discouraged. Yeah. You know, God told me to do this. We're showing up, we're doing yeah. it. And I'm like, okay, let's point and pivot and find what he wants me to take from this, you know, yeah. and me and the other artists too, as well. Um, but like I was saying about possible workshops, because how many artists came to our show, our online show, were interested in um, do, me doing holding workshops for, for teaching acrylic painting. Yeah. And so that's really exciting. So that might be on the horizon. I've had him playing with some ideas and putting together some virtual classes. Yeah. So it's really exciting. But, but it also yeah. feels like it's just not one path. You know, it's just not one thing. Like you can't just Absolutely. get your mind fixed on something that it's only going to happen this way because God always has it bigger and better. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's just a healthy way, as we know, as from marketing perspective. I mean, yeah. I call it the Parthenon plan that we teach in the mentoring program, but it's like every artist should have eight to 10 different things that they're doing out there to put themselves out there to bring income into their business. And for me, and I'm sure you'll find this as you get into it. But I mean, teaching has always been a real core, especially as I was developing my business, when my galleries weren't selling as much, when I wasn't as well known, when I didn't have commission work, man, teaching became a really solid income for me for, for a lot of years. And then interestingly enough, when my business turned and I started being a lot more well known, my price of my work started going up, I used my teaching business to underwrite growth in terms of getting a studio assistant. So my, my teaching business was actually paying my rent and paying for my studio assistant yeah. every year. So I'm like, sweet. So I love that idea of building an asset, you know, and then taking that and letting that continue to, to build into your business ongoing. So, yeah. And it's funny that you're saying this because, um, for everyone who didn't know, Matt and I were chatting earlier, and I said I never considered myself a teacher, but what is God doing? Uh, step back two years ago, I never sort of considered myself a wet beauty artist, but what is God doing? <laughs> so he's full of surprises, isn't he? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Oh, yeah. well, I, I love which is what you're learning, Laura, and your journey and all that. You know, what would you say to somebody who, because I have a lot of people like this, who are like, Matt, I love all the spiritual stuff that you're teaching and that sort of thing. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do the mentoring program because I just need to know the marketing stuff. And then I need to get on with marketing my business. What would, cause that's kind of where both of you and I came from, you know, what would you say to that person that's sitting there now that's thinking, yeah, the spiritual stuff that she's talking about is great, but I'm really just looking at how to market my business and, and get on with my, with my life as an artist. Yeah. Well, uh, well, if you're listening to the rest of the podcast, you're going to know my answer. <laughs> I'd say, do not do that. The spiritual growth is huge. Like, it's going to, like, set the, the groundwork, the foundation, build it all. Like, without that breakthrough, you're, you're going to market yourself, but you're not going to market yourself to, uh, like, succeed, if you want to say it. Because yeah. I believe, I truly believe with all my heart that what God created me to be, I, I am because of that that breakthrough because he's showing me who I am, yeah. you know? So it's, it's huge. It's huge. And that's what actually kind of attracted me to the mark of the mentor group in the first place, because I saw you, because I was looking for another fine arts artist mentor and I saw you with your work, which is awesome. <laughs> and, and then you started talking about the kingdom of God and, um, it's not just a business. You're not just an artist, but you're a, a you know a thriving kingdom artist. You know, yeah. you, your business is based on the kingdom of God, and so it just I can see how without that the growth doesn't happen. You know, so yeah. it just it's huge, and and your teaching is amazing, and I uh, I just want everyone to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and to me, I just think and thank you for that. And yeah. to me, though, I think I think about marketing on my own with just kind of like not, I'm not saying this religiously, but just like natural worldly knowledge is like all the marketing stuff that's out there. You can totally do that. You can totally have a measure of success. But I think when, 
when you bring that concept together of what I think the kingdom is based in, which is being filled and skilled, which is, yeah. yes, having mastery over the things you need to have mastery over, the practical things, the making great work, the knowing how to market, all that. But at the same time, overlaying that with the voice of the Lord speaking to you and leading you and and him doing more than you could ask or imagine in opening divine appointments, opening doors, giving revelation about people and opportunities and all that sort of thing. All of a sudden, these things come together in a convergence that it's like, whoa, it's, <laughs> it's on steroids. And I think that's why people, I see so many people like you and others that are having this extraordinary breakthrough is because all that starts to come together. And that really, I think, is the game changer yeah, for people. Yeah, yeah. And so, I think, too, as far as marketing, like you can market, um, like so you could try to sell yourself any which way, but when you know who you are and you yeah. have a kingdom business, you're, you're selling like, especially an artist, it's that relationship that you start with um, the potential collector or the collector. And it's who you are that, co that connects to them. Yeah. So if you're not, I don't want to say I'm marketing who I am, but <laughs> I am putting out who I am yeah, and I'm confident sure. who I am without that then I don't believe I'm achieving those legitimate connections. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I yeah. think that's what people, that's what buyers want. That's what we right. want as artists is we want to put ourselves out there authentically and have others respond to that in a way that not only blesses them, but also blesses us. And, uh, right, right, right. and that's the, that's the beauty of being an artist. So yeah, yeah. Well, Laura, I know people are connecting with you right now. I know they want to continue to do that. So where's the best place for them to, to find you online and, and follow all that you're doing? Yeah, sure. It's laurabradystudio.com is the website, and you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook with the same Laura Brady Studio. <laughs> awesome. Well, Laura, I'm proud of you. You're, you're, you're kicking it. You're doing a great job, and uh, all the journey that you've gone through, what a testimony for the Lord. So thanks for being on the, on the podcast today. Yeah. Thanks so much, Matt. Thanks so much for everything. Hey, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with me today on the podcast. Listen, I hope it's been a huge encouragement to you on your journey as an artist. Hey, also, before you leave, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the other episodes of the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast. And also, be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, or at my website, which is matttommymentoring.com. Until next time, remember, you were created to thrive. Bye-bye.